to discuss about the Totochrome problem and its solution. Before going into the Totochrome problem, I wish to say something about the Brachistochrome problem. The Brachistochrome problem is the problem of finding the curve down which a wave starting from a point A reaches the point B in the shortest time. The Totochrome problem is slightly different from the Brachistochrome problem. Here, we are finding the curve where a bead starting from any point on the curve will reach the lowest point in the same time. That is, Totochron means, Toto means same and chrono means time in Greek. So, Totochron means the problem of finding the curve in which a bead placed at any point on the curve will reach its lowest point in the same time. So, it was found that the solution of the Totochrome problem is a cycloid. So, what is a cycloid? Cycloid is the path of a point on a circle. It is a path of the point that the point covers as the circle rotates along the axis. This is how the cycloid looks like. So, in a Totochrome problem, we are trying to show that, in the solution, we are trying to show that cycloid is the solution of the Totochrome problem. For this, we will consider the half path of the cycloid in the inverted form. That is, we will consider the positive y-axis in the downward direction. First, we will show that the time taken for a bead that starting from the origin to reach the point B is pi into root of A by G where A is the radius of this circle. So, so for this we want to know what is the parametric equation of the cycloid. The parametric equation of the cycloid is given by x is equal to a into theta minus sin theta and y is equal to a into 1 minus cos theta where a is the radius of the circle and theta is the angle of rotation. Now what we know is the body is falling from this point under the force of gravity. It is a free form. So, the kinetic, total kinetic energy is same as the potential energy. That is, half mv square is same as mgy, where y is this total distance from A to this point. Then what is V? V will be root of 2GY. On substituting for V as ds by dt, we get ds by dt is root of 2GY. Then what is dt? dt will be equal to ds by root of 2gy. So, dt is given by ds by root of 2gy. Now, we have to find what is ds. ds is given by the formula. ds is equal to root of dx square plus dy square. Now from here we can find what is dx and dy. dx is a into 1 minus cos theta d theta and dy is given by a into sin theta d theta. So ds will be equal to 
fruta. A square root 1 minus cos theta square plus A square sin square theta d2 which is equal to root of A square into what we get 1 minus cos theta whole square plus sin square theta which is nothing but 1 plus 1 we will get 2 and this is 2 minus 2 cos theta repeat so on substituting here we will get substitute here. That is root of 2a square into 1 minus cos theta d theta. This is what ds is. Divided by root of 2g into what is y? a into 1 minus cos theta. That is a into 1 minus cos theta. So, this will be equal to root a by g d theta. This is what we will get. Now, this is dt. What we have to find is t, the total time taken. t is equal to integral 0 to pi dt. Why we have taken the limits for 0 to pi? Just look here. The coordinates what we are considering are x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and x equal to pi a and y equal to 2a. So on substituting 0 here, what we will get? x is 0 and y is also 0. On substituting pi, what we get here is sin pi is 0 and we get this as pi a. And here cos pi is minus 1, so we will get this as 2a. So this is the only portion we are considering here. Therefore the limit is from 0 to 5. And this is nothing but integral 0 to pi root a by g d theta. This is equal to root a by g integral 0 to pi d theta. Which is nothing but pi into root of a by g. This is what the total time is. So what we have found out, the total time taken by a bead placed at the origin to reach the point pi a to a is given by pi into root of a by g. So we have proved that the time taken for a point to slide from A to the lowest point B of this cycloid curve is pi into root of A by G. Now we are considering an arbitrary point on this curve. Say some Y. Why not? Go. Now corresponding angle can be taken as theta naught. Okay. Theta. Now we are trying to find the time taken by the bead to travel from Y naught to the point P. So we have to check what is uh, dt. The formula is given by dt is equal to ds by d. Here ds is root of 2a square into 1 minus cos theta. There is no change into d theta. There is no change in the value of ds. But 
there is a slight change in B which is root of 2G into. Now the distance has been changed to Y minus Y naught. This is the distance. So this becomes Y minus Y naught. So what was Y? Y was actually A into 1 minus cos theta. So on substituting here we will get this as root of a square by g into 1 minus cos theta divided by this is a into 1 minus cos theta minus a into 1 minus cos theta now. Then this will become root a by g into root of 1 minus cos theta divided by root of cos theta naught minus cos theta root theta. Now we are going to change these two terms using trigonometric identities. So we are using the identities cos 2 theta is given by 1 minus 2 sin square theta which means sin square theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2. So we substitute here it as root of a by g into what will be 1 minus cos theta? It will be 2 sin square theta by 2. So this will be root of 2 sin square theta by 2. By again we have another identity that cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1. So on substituting here what we will get cos theta naught will be 2 cos square theta naught by 2 minus 1. That is root of 2 cos square theta naught by 2 minus 1 minus cos theta which will be changed to 2 cos square theta by 2 minus divided. Now what will be this? This will be equal to root of a by g into this will change to root of, this will become sin theta by 2. So, this is sin theta by 2 divided by root of cos square theta naught by 2 minus cos square theta by 2. This is what dt is. change the limit of integration. Here what you have taken is the point is y0 and the corresponding angle is theta0. So the limits of theta are from theta0 to pi. So theta varies from theta0 to pi. So what will be the variation of u? u varies from 
when we substitute theta naught here, we will get it as cos theta naught by 2 by cos theta naught by 2, which is 1. So, 1, 2. And when theta is pi, we will get this as 0. So, the limit of u is 1 to 0. So, what we get is the total time t will be changed to integral it was integral theta naught to pi dt that is integral theta naught to pi root of a by g into sin theta by 2 divided by root of cos square theta naught by 2 minus cos square theta by 2 d theta. Now, what is du? du was actually 1 by cos of theta naught by 2 into the derivative of cos theta by 2 which is minus 1 by 2 sin theta by 2 d theta. So, now we are going to substitute it here. So, what we have here is sin theta by 2 d theta. So, we can substitute or we can replace it by the common constant or by the term which is minus 2 cos theta naught by 2 d u and also we will replace the limits of integration. So, this will become minus root a by g is a constant. So, we take it out root a by g and we have the constant 2. So, 2 into integral 1 to 0 du by we have this term cos theta naught by 2 here. And here what we have is when we take cos square theta naught by 2 outside we have cos theta naught by 2 divided by root of 1 minus this will be cos square theta by 2 by cos square theta naught by 2 which is actually u square. So we get this. Now what is this? We, we can change this integral and negative, right? On giving this negative to this integral, what will happen? The limits of integration will change. That is, this will change to integral 0 to 1. So, we will get 2 into root of a by g integral 0 to 1 du by root of 1 minus u square. Now, what is this integral? It is nothing but sin inverse u. So, this will be equal to 2 into root of a by g sin inverse u within the limits c1. Now, what is sin inverse 1? It is pi by 2 and sin inverse 0 is 0. So, this will be equal to 2 into root of a by g sin verse 1 will be pi by 2. This is equal to pi into root of a by g. So, look here what we have got. When we have taken an arbitrary point on this curve, why not? We have got that the time taken for the b to slide from this point to b is pi into root a by g which was the same time taken by the b to slide from the origin to the point b. So, what we have proved is that in a cycloid, when we consider the curve, the time taken for a b to slide from any point on this curve is the same. This is what is called as the tautochrome problem. And now we have proved that the cycloid satisfies the tautochrome problem.